Okay. Walter Jaukofi was hoping to become a lawyer, but after completing his studies, he decided to become a farmer instead. In 2016, he launched his company Champivoir against the advice of his parents and devoted his time to growing food. Digital technology has always been at the forefront of his work. He uses apps to get advice on optimal farming methods. Right now, he's getting some tips for his rice field. These tools have played a key role in his career choice. He sees himself as more of an agricultural entrepreneur or agripreneur than a farmer. With these apps and with the internet, we're able to find solutions to the problems we encounter, and that has been a huge plus for us, the new generation of agripreneurs. Agriculture is a leading sector in Ivory Coast, representing nearly a third of GDP. But global warming and deforestation are weighing on the environment. Could digital technology revolutionize the sector? The company Investive is convinced it can and is trying to preserve the country's remaining forests with precision agriculture. They want to make a clear distinction between protected forest and farmland with the help of drones. Could it fall on our heads by accident? <laughs> The photos taken by the drone show the farmers exactly what belongs to them and what belongs to the forest, where they're not allowed to fell trees. He has his map and knows he owns one hectare. He won't go beyond that and encroach on the forest. Back in the village, the footage is analysed and clearly shows the boundaries between the forest and the fields. You can work anywhere in this area, but you can't enter here. This is a small revolution. Previously, he would have had to walk around his field with GPS to obtain this data. Work that would normally take us two or three hours now only takes us one hour. So that's really good. So far, few people in Ivory Coast have access to such data. While almost everyone has a cell phone today, less than half the population has internet access. It's often too expensive, especially for farmers. Walter Yaukofi is trying to popularize the use of apps among farmers. He explains the wide scope of opportunities that the internet presents. But he knows a lot has to change to achieve real success. It would be good if we could have free internet zones in the villages where people could get wireless access and get online. That would be really good. And time is of the essence. In the heart of the country, rain is scarce and the land is dry. Researchers at the Agricultural College in Yamasukro are developing an app that will help people to adjust to climate change. Farmers can access this information and apply it accordingly, depending on the condition of their fields. The scientists use meteorological data from the NASA website. Our goal isn't to accurately predict the weather. It's to determine the right time during the plant's growth cycle to carry out certain agricultural activities. Researchers also want the app to be able to respond precisely to the needs of the farmers. Given the drought and the need to irrigate, rain is a major concern. OK, but does the app take rainfall into account? Because there might not be enough. Eventually, the app should calculate the amount of water the farmers should use depending on the rainfall. It allows us to anticipate problems that would normally take us by surprise. Digitalization is hoped to solve another big problem for farmers, 
access to new markets in the cities. Marie Luakindo runs a juice bar in Abidjan. She buys her fruit at the market, but there are always problems with deliveries. The new online platform that brings producers and buyers together could save her from these constant disruptions. The suppliers give us dates when the items will be available and then due to logistics problems they're not available in Abidjan. The app could also help farmers to sell their produce more effectively by consolidating information about crop yields from across the country. There could be a shortage of bananas in the north of Ivory Coast, for example, and overproduction in the south. So our idea is to allow farmers in the south, where there's an overproduction, to be able to sell their products in the north. It will take time for the virtual market to function well nationwide. Agricultural entrepreneur Walter Yaukofi doesn't want to wait that long. He organises training for young people who want to help the country move forward with digital agriculture. When young people on social media see others like them who went to school and got diplomas but then returned to the countryside, to this land that feeds people, I think that will create jobs. He hopes to create a real community of networked organic farmers across the country.